How are you? So, first of all, I want to tell you, abundance is not in your busyness. I know they told you to hustle and grind and do all the things and do more of all the things, but abundance is not in your busyness. Listen, I want to share with you today three reasons why you must simplify your business. So I've been talking about um, a project that I've been uh, working on, which was kind of different, but it came from my area of genius, and it's connected to website building. I'm, I'm not a website designer. I don't build websites for people, but I'm working on the branding aspect of this particular project. And a huge part of that for me, because I know most people think that branding is the website, the logos, and the pretty pictures, but it's not. But understanding who you are as a brand is huge, you know, if you're building a website. So I'm working on the branding aspect of it for them. And a part of that for me is um, really understanding who they are as a business. Now, most people think because they've been doing their business for a really long time they know who they are as a business but what I find as a consultant and a coach is that because most people have been doing things a particular way in their business they aren't always clear on the fullness um, or how profitable their business can actually be with a lot of less a lot less of their effort and so as I'm working on this particular project and I'm really learning about this person's business, who their perfect people are. Listen, you need to know who your perfect people are. People are closing $120,000 deals for one client because they understand who their perfect people are. I'm gonna talk more about that as we move along this morning. But most people don't know the fullness of what their business is even capable of. So as I'm working on, you know, defining their, helping them define their perfect people, I, I realize that there is a concept in the marketplace that they don't know exists. And if they incorporate this one thing, not 50 things, this one thing, it can change from multiple six figures to seven figures for them in a really, really short amount of time because there's a lot of money tied to this particular thing that they weren't aware of because they've been hustling and grinding and they also have several other businesses and they also have their hands in a lot of other different things. One of the things that I understand, so I focus in three areas if this, if this is your first time working with me, seeing me on a live training. I am a certified um, life coach, business consultant, and I focus on three aspects. And one of them is abundance mindset. And I find even some people who are high earners still operate from a space of scarcity like all over the place. And the minute they can grasp that there are some simple things they can do in their business, there are simple things like their perfect people that they can define in their business that will completely change everything. But oftentimes the thought, the fears um, that if they slow down, you know, something isn't going to work. But what actually happens from all of the, the busyness is their energy is all over the place, right? And they leave a lot of money on the table, just like this particular person I'm working with for their branding. Now, because I'm operating in one of my areas of genius, which is systems, and in order to create systems, you have to have a mind to be able to simplify things so that, that they function uh, with greater ease and flow and efficiency. And because that's one of my areas of genius, not only did I find a, a different space for this client, now mind you, I'm working on their website, so this is a whole nother opportunity for me as a coach to work with them in their business simply because I'm working in my area of genius. It's just making sense. So many people are leaving so much money on the table in their business, one, because of their mindset and thinking and because of what we've been taught that abundance is, that abundance actually is not. It's not 
all over the place doing all the things it's an ease flow and grace of overflow coming into your life and for you as a business owner that will be the money the revenue um, the great clients the great team members overflowing into your life with a, a sense of grace and ease so number one reason why you should simplify your business is because when your energy is everywhere you leave money on the table when your energy is everywhere you leave money on the table so I commented on a post earlier this morning I have um, and it's amazing when you like really hone in on your perfect people which is something I'm doing in my business all the time right because my business is forever evolving I'm learning new things about my capabilities and who desires those particular capabilities your language will begin to change the more clear you are your language will begin to change and a different type of people will be attracted even to the content that you create on social media even your desire for what you entertain in your personal life what you do in your daily activities listen when you simplify things all of that changes and then you begin to attract people on a different level quicker sooner faster so there is a coach on um, one of my platforms and she shares my posts we comment on each other's posts things of that nature and we've really been connecting on a different level but I realize it's because of honing in on your perfect people and she made a post talking about sales and how people don't like to do sales <clears throat> and they hired her to come in and train their sales team and they're going to pay her a hundred and twenty thousand dollars to work with them for the year that's one client did you guys hear me that's one client well what caught my attention was i had the same thing happen to me right so listen when things begin to shift and change about who your perfect people are who is ideal it begins to illuminate more ideal situations and solutions for you and also so let's think about it imagine this is you with a client that's paying you $120,000 for the year one client now some of you may be saying oh nobody would ever pay me that with this thing that I do listen I'm here to tell you if people find value in what you offer there are people who are willing to pay there are people surfing the inter internet right now for vacation that cost that much there are people who one have the disposable income um, number two invest in themselves on a really high level but are you speaking their language you could be a realtor it doesn't matter right you defining your perfect people will change the complete game for not only um, you but what you're doing in your business how would your life change if you were speaking to your perfect people I ran across so prior to coaching and consulting I was in the wellness beauty and wellness industry and I ran across a picture an old picture from when I owned a brick and mortar business and it was of a client who had gotten an infusion service now that was in 2010 I need you guys to hear me that service this is one client was two thousand dollars one client this was in 2010 and when I saw it I was like oh I've been really honing in on premium clients and premium offers for a really long time imagine you being able to um, close a, a high um, premium offer and be able to relax somewhat in your business and in your life so that you can take care of other things like your family one of the things my mentor told me early early when I started in my career that many people lose their families to their careers to their business to that lifestyle because they're busy they're all over the place the time for true connection right the quality time just isn't there and I believe a lot of it is because people are doing a lot of things that aren't really necessary and you know with social media being here you're hearing from so many different coaches so many different teachers and trainers with amazing information but is it in alignment with your business the growth that you desire to make the destiny that you desire to have 
does it is it a match if you do that thing that you saw is it going to confuse your perfect people do you even know who your perfect people are and a lot of people feel like oh i have client tons of clients these must be my perfect people but when you're looking to scale and you're looking to evolve one of the things that often changes is your perfect people it doesn't mean that you're not still available for the other people but your idea of who is perfect for the offers that you have the services that you provide the products that you are customizing they are very likely to change i spoke with um, a, a client um, who had services with me a few years back and we spoke recently just in general and she was sharing how where she was was doing well but she knew there was more for her and one of her fears was that she wouldn't be able to help the people that she was able to help before and I think that's a real fear for a lot of people especially those who are coaches teachers and trainers but most of us open our business from a sense of serving and a sense of wanting to help now a lot of times when you first open it you open it for the money right but there's some type of passion or something in it somewhere and many of you at this stage you're at the stage where you desire to help people at a bigger level and some of the fear may be if I shift this am I going to leave people behind prime example um, a, another client that I'm actually working with um, at this time this is still the the website thing their business was built off of um, a need that was not fully met in their childhood and they wanted it to be the solution for other people who would have that need which is all fine well and good we most of us want to do that most of us want to be big givers but are those people who are in such great need would they be your perfect people could they afford your offers and your services and things of that nature you have to really make the business part make sense or would it be better if you spoke to your perfect people you created an amount of increase and overflow in your life where you have the disposable income to be able to uh, sow into charities or actually give from your overflow and not from your own need many of you if you were focusing on your perfect people and premium offers things of that nature you wouldn't have to work nearly as hard and I know they tell you you know start off low and get all the people but if you gonna only get two three five ten twenty people right wouldn't it make sense wouldn't it feel more fulfilling for it to also meet your need in overflow as the business owner and then after you get this huge large following and all the things if you wanted to create something that would help the masses to go from that particular space but so many people are looking at abundance in the wrong way so number one reason why you should simplify your business when your energy is everywhere you you leave money on the table it's no way that you can pick it all up because you can't see it you're from one thing to the next to the next and many people if they would simplify uh, their business it would bring in masses of increase and overflow where they can have systems and structure and then move on to something else with a measure of grace ease and flow one of the things I'm doing now in my personal life so I talk about you know building a routine that makes you brilliant and I haven't done this particular thing in a really long time and that's read the book of Proverbs so for about four to five years in a row I read the book of Proverbs every single day and so I started that back in my life and before I came on I read Proverbs 9 and what stood out to me from a business standpoint because it was so in alignment with what I wanted to share today um, was Proverbs 9 9 says give instructions to a wise man and he will be yet wise a foolish woman right sits and calls people who pass by and the people go right about their way and what that is saying is if a wise person hears something that they should do they will be wise they will do that thing because knowledge is one thing but wisdom is making the move doing the thing that is necessary to bring in the increase the overflow whatever it is that you need in your business not just hearing something and say 
oh yeah, that's good information, but actually making a move in that direction on it. For you, it could be signing up with me for these last two spots that I have for October for the Perfect People Framework. I'll put that link in the comments. But then this proverb goes on to say, a foolish woman sits and calls people who pass by. She's just calling people, hey you, hey you, just anybody. Not her perfect people, just anybody. And the people go right about their way. And I thought about how many people are marketing to everybody who goes by, hoping that someone is going to stop and people are just passing by. And even if they aren't just passing by, they aren't converting over to clients and customers. That's because you have to know your perfect people. You have to know who you're speaking to, understand who they are, learn to speak the language that lets them know you have the value that they need. Um, number two reason why you should simplify your business, why you must simplify your business. When you have your hands in a lot of pots, something is bound to get burned. Something is bound to get burned, whether it's your energy, your family, your relationships. Um, I talked about you know, what my mentor shared with me about how people get engrossed in their careers, especially if they're on a hamster wheel, especially if they haven't had instruction, right? Oftentimes they lose some of the most valuable things to them, like their energy, their friendships, their family, um, because they're so busy. They're so busy. So that's another reason why simplifying your business is a must. Save your mental capacity, right? The capacity that you're using to do 20 different things that aren't yielding the results that you desire. They may be yielding results, but not the true results that you desire where there's a full circle experience of abundance in your entire life, in your energy, your time, your effort, in all the things, your relationships, where you have time for them, time freedom, and work-life harmony. Instead of Putting all that energy everywhere, simplify your business so you can save your mental capacity and show up at a really high level for the people who will pay you for your premium offers. Listen, I have learned, this, this year has been a huge quantum leap for me in my abundant thought process. And so abundant uh, obtaining an abundant mindset is much like healing. There's always another level. There's always another level. And we can get so comfortable in the position that we're in, in what we're currently earning, in what's transpiring, in the roles that we play, that we don't even tap into a new level of abundance. There is more, right? And it can be done less your effort with greater ease and flow. Um, the third reason why you must simplify your business is, and I kind of touched on this, so that you can slow down and find harmony with high level activities. There are some things that you can do in your business from a really high level, land more premium clients, have a more sufficiently running business, right? If you slow down. And see, this is where that scarcity thinking comes in at because the thought is, if I slow down, something is going to fail. Most likely, the only thing that is going to fail is those things that did not have a firm foundation and they will make you aware of where your attention needs to be. And a lot of the things will simply be things that you needed to release anyway. You know, I really have a heart for finding work-life harmony. Um, this really became um, an important factor for me in my own life when I opened my brick and mortar business, um, got married and had a baby all in a three year time frame, and realized that my life felt chaotic. And realized after I had my daughter that I really wanted to be home, it, that feeling left, right? But I did know that I was going to continue to create my business in a way that allowed me to earn more money, less my effort, so that I could have the fullness of life, the connection and harmony with my daughter so I wasn't missing events or, you know, not paying attention. Scripture tells us the child left to themselves, 
Y'all go look that up because I forgot the other part, but I know it ties in to what I, I'm talking about, right? And so I'm asking you this morning, do you know who your perfect people are? Are you the foolish woman who's sitting and just calling people as they're passing by and they're continuing to go on their way? Are you serving a lot of people at this stage, but you know there is another level for you? I have two spaces available for the Perfect People Framework. Grab you one today. Let's get the process rolling. We're in the last quarter. Um, for some of you, it may be a VIP day with me where we can sit down and really simplify your business, find out those high-level activities that you should be doing, and move some of that busy stuff out of the way. The best thing that you can do is understand your areas of genius and hire, hire out your weaknesses. If something that I've mentioned is an area of weakness for you, allow me to support you in that area. The, the wise man hears wisdom and becomes wise. The wise man hears wisdom and becomes wise. Abundance isn't you being all over the place. It is not found in busyness. Three reasons why you should simplify your business. That's my take. You guys have a good one.